Hi everyone, welcome back to Geo Media. Welcome back to this channel, which is focused on uh, test automation, business automation, and marketing stuffs. So I hope that you're doing fine, and welcome back to the um, Test Cafe course, the Test Cafe sessions that are trying to show you uh, the general functionalities that Test Cafe has. So I hope that. Um, this video finds you well, and it, it, I, I hope that it it works fine for you, and it, it will. It, I hope that it is uh, helpful for you. All right. Um, what is a DOM now the state object? Today we're gonna see a little bit this topic of Test Cafe, which is DOM now the state, and let's see a little bit of the theory that we have here it says that selectors allow you to get the server side representations of a dom uh, node state all right um there is a, a particular way to obtain the state and it is executing the selector as an asynchronous function a promise is going to be returned and by the selector and it is going to be exposed at the state's api i have a, an example for you to see how it works but um let's see about a little bit more about other uh, actually all the uh, methods to with that we have for now that say states we have um members or uh, functions for count or see if a child element exists um, if the child node count is it is the correct if it actually has the child elements as i as i uh, said previously the node type that it is and etc etc also we have another method uh, to validate if uh, an element has a class a class name for example it is going to return true or false and so on we have a lot of methods here and these ones are the ones that are, that I want to explain you a little bit, and let's see how we can call them and how we can use them. All right, I have this example here, which is gonna be based on the same strategy that I've been working for. Um, let me skip this test, which is using the uh, demo QA uh, web page. All right. I guess that this is gonna this is gonna be a quick and a simple lesson, lesson, sorry, uh, or session. It is gonna be based on this a particular website, and after a test is um, started, it is gonna be coming to this checkbox element, and it's gonna be clicked, and we're gonna be testing different node states in this particular uh, site. In the first example, we have this one here, which is going to be used to get the state of this checkbox. All right. We're going to see if this checkbox is, is checked, actually, or it is not. As you can see, uh, as default, it is coming totally uh, unchecked. And with the script, we're going to see if how it changes and how Test Cafe um, can interpret interprets the, this and how we can get the, the state basically the test flow that we have here is declarating three different variables which are which are um item to be clicked but it is actually checkbox to to click here after that we have uh, two uh, variables which are going to be pointing to different selectors the first one is uh, the span um the span is this element that we have here. It is referring the the selector. This is the for some reason this is the the item that we have to click on if we want to select this checkbox. But when we want to see if um, it is checked or unchecked, we have to refer to this input element. So basically, I have two different selectors: one for the checkbox expand to click on it. And I also have uh, another a variable which is, which is called test checkbox element, and it is referring to the uh, input element which has the type checkbox. All right. Basically, the flow is um, it is going to be coming to the um, to the checkbox element, the input element, and it is going to retrieve or return the check status. It is going to return true or false 
false if it is unchecked and true if it is checked after i get the node status um, using await since this is an asynchronous function it is going to return a true or false in this uh, variable and after that i i want to see this printed out in the console log so in this particular case since per default it is coming and checked this should be false we're gonna see if it if it is working as expected but i think it should be false and after that i want to click on the text box uh, checkbox spam sorry and we're gonna see if this particular element gets a uh, true since it was uh, checked in the previous action it should be returning and printing a uh, true in this second um, console log that we have in this test All right let's try to uh, run this test as always i have a script named test demo uh, which is um, pointing to this path which is it's session three in this particular case i have a different a uh, node uh sorry test cafe file for this test and i think so that's it uh, i'm gonna try to run this which is gonna be npm run and the test script name which is test demo mm -hmm. and it should be doing what i said uh, in the previous seconds let's see it is opening the web, web browser uh, instance but as you can see here in visual studio i haven't um saved the file so for sure it is not opening any test i have saved save, saved the file now let's see if um, it is gonna open the test that i want to work to run Okay, it is opening the website. It should be clicking on checkbox, right? And it is gonna be get the unchecked status. And after that, clicking on it to get true or false uh, as the node state. As you can see here, um, the first console log that we have is false, since for sure it is not working uh, or it is unchecked actually at first, but after the click, it is returning true. Uh, since it is actually checked so basically this is uh, one way to get or yes to get um, a node status in this particular case for a uh, checkbox all right hope that this is clear please let me know in comments if there is any kind of doubt and i'll be more than happy to help you out no worries about it let's uh, continue with the next example that i have for you which is how we can get classes this can be useful it can it can help you if you want to um, test uh, if a particular class is attached or append in an element for example if you're working with Vue or a kind of the or any kind of this framework for web development there are some scenarios that uh, classes are append after any um, web element interaction uh, after some click or something like that so basically um, we can validate if um, the element has all the classes that we want in this particular case i want to display or get a array of strings and um, to see all the classes that um, an element has in this particular case i'm gonna use the same uh, scenario I'm just changing the element that I want to test. In this particular case, I want to test the button, the toggle button, the arrow button, and I want to get the classes, the classes that this element has. In this particular case, I should get an array of two strings, which is, the first one is RCT dash collapse, and the second one should be RCT dash collapse dash BTN right so that's the the result that i want so basically in the test flow what i do is clicking on the item to be clicked which is basically checkbox all right and after that i'm gonna declarate a very uh, variable and i'm gonna i'm gonna be getting the class names of this particular element 
I'm using this uh, guide here in the test cafe site, which where we have a lot of methods that we can use. And I'm trying to uh, get you some examples, some visual examples to see how this works. Basically, I'm using this uh, property here, which is class names, class names, I'm sorry. And the type is an array of strings of string and the description that it says it is a list of elements classes. Let me give you this running for you to see how this works. As you can see, it is running out. It is running. It is going to open in the instance of the Google Chrome web browser. And it should be uh, clicking on the checkbox. Uh -huh. And after that, in the console log, we should see uh, an array of classes, of course, and you, as you can see here, we have displayed the, those as expected correctly. That's amazing. So this is another um, another method, another property that we have with Test Cafe, if uh, we need it. I just wanted to show you how this works. So amazing. Let's continue with the next next one, which is one of them. Uh, um, the most important, I guess that you uh, that you have seen this in my previous videos, but it is a kind of node state, and that's why I wanted to to get this uh, explained in this video. Basically, the property that I want to see in this test is the dot inner text. Basically, what I am gonna do is getting the text of a particular element, which is basically, let me see, it is gonna be this span. I want to get the inner text of this element. So I should get home when I um, call this method. So basically I just um, create the variable name text. And after that, I want to get this displayed in console log. Right, let me try to get this um, demo working and let's see if the the home word is displayed as expected in the uh, console. It is not since I haven't saved again the work <laughs> or the change that I did. Let's see. It is opening uh, Google Chrome. Amazing. It should click on... Um, checkbox item all right and i should be getting the home board uh, printed out in the console log as you can see here i get the home with the property inner text that's good so let's continue with the next one i think that it is like the last one and it is how we can get a specific style of an element you might be wondering uh, where where can I use this or when actually, and there might be situations where a specific requirement is is needed. Um, let's say that you are working on a project which uh, needs a specific color for an element, for example. Let's say that a requirement for this folder is to be blue, so you can use this property to get the CSS um, value. And validate if it is according to the to the expected uh, result, right? So basically, we can use this example to get this visualized and and in better context, I guess. Right? I'm gonna be using this selector, which is RCT blah 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 uh, icon parent close, which is referring to this um, icon, right? As you can see here, um, in styles. I should be getting, I should have a color here, um, which is, let me see what is happening here. Uh, the color of this folder is blue, yes. Is this one over here, all right. And let me see, let's, let me change this uh, right here. And I should get the, the color in computed property property as uh, RGB value. So basically, as you can see, this folder here, it, it has this particular color. And I just want to validate, for example, that it has the correct value. So in this particular case, I'm gonna use um, 
this property here, which is get the style property. And again, I'm gonna be needing needed, or I'm gonna be calling the this type property color, and it should be returning an string with that particular value. I'm gonna be printing that in the console log, and let's see how it actually works and if it actually works. And how it works, I'm sorry. Let's see. It is gonna opening the, the web browser again. It should be clicking again on checkbox uh, according to an item. And um, could be seconds for to get the result. And as you can see here, I'm getting the RGB color uh, as I expected to have. As you can see here, it is the same here. Uh, I guess that it is like hidden, hidden since it is a bit uh, short, but it is uh, all right this number. And as you can see in the console log is the exact same number that I needed to have uh, displayed in the in the in the test. I I have this particular example, but we have an odd other uh, properties uh, here to use. For example, visible, it returns true or false if an element is displayed or not in the web browser. For example, if an element has display not property, it is gonna return false. Or if the visibility is set to hidden or hidden, I'm not sure if it is pronounced <laughs> in that way. But if that particular element they have this uh, one of of these two uh, properties, it is gonna be returning false. And if not, it is gonna be returning true, and it should be displayed as expected in the um, in the viewport, right? In the in the web browser. There are other um, methods or properties that we, we can use, but I guess that it is uh, it was an excellent presentation to to get you introduced in this dumb node states, and I hope that you really uh, find this video helpful for uh, for your future test automation work. So thank you very much again for watch this video. I hope that you're doing very fine during this quarantine and see you later with a new video goodbye guys thank you very much